Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, cherisher and sustainer of the universe, and may his choicest blessings be upon his final messenger, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, radiallahu anhum, and all those who follow him. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba and welcome to yet another quick and easy and ITV joint production program. And we are out here in the breezy, windy day in, uh, in Benoni <laughs> with a very wonderful sister, Sister Fatima Sheikh Bayat. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to introduce her formally in a few minutes. But just to remind you, this recipe book has tried and tested recipes in it that was done 10 years ago with wonderful people. And you can try them and I'm sure it's going to be 100% foolproof. Great legends of cooking. Mama Chamda, etc., all in this uh, recipe book. You can see a uh, fantastic biryani that she did as well. It will be available in ITV offices. I am sending it through as Pruess, and he will leave it with Sister Aisha Latif, and you can contact them, inshallah, for these books at uh, ITV studios. So, on with the program. So, if you're hearing sounds and noises, it's because we're doing an outside shoot. Yes, and totally outside. What, <laughs> and with my guest, Sister Fatima, isn't she just lovely? <laughs> Mashallah. She's Young mom. One. With one, one uh, son yes. and owning the uh, sh uh, a business called Marinado. Yes. Now, sister, you know, you told me something f really fantastic. Gee. That you all started this business uh, under lockdown. Yes. And this is a phenomenal success story. Gee. That if you can do it, and we've been to quite a, a few places. Yes, gee. you can do it. You know, out of complete ruin sometimes, the phoenix rises, you gee, know. Gee. So, alhamdulillah, tell us about that. Alhamdulillah, so we had a franchise previously last year sometime and it closed down due to lockdown. Yeah. However, we didn't just sit back and let things, you know, go downhill. We made effort, we put our enthusiasm into it, we put our passion into it and we said, let's do something that can actually grant us an opportunity to grow from there. So Alhamdulillah, when we opened up Marinado and even though during lockdown, it was still difficult for us and this whole COVID times, we needed something out there to boost us. So Alhamdulillah, we started doing our sushi class my husband and I, Fuzel Bayat and G. Wonderful husband, I must say. Very, <laughs> very compatible couple. Wonderful. Allah, Allah's uh, mercy on them and Allah's love on them. Great, uh, you know, synergy between them as partners as well as, as a couple. A wonderful family. Allah take you from strength Amen. to strength, inshallah. Amen. So, yes, they started this business, Marinado, under lockdown, as well as now. She started, look how creative she is. She's also started sushi. I know I'm sister of thinking of sister uh, sushi and bacon, also started under lockdown. And this is the kind of thing we want to showcase on the program. Quick and easy cooking is Gee. a slot that brings humanity together Gee. Uh, with their skills and their stories and their tips. And uh, this book also has a lot of household tips. But this is business that we're giving you. Young. <laughs> Creative, very industrious, very articulate sister uh, with her husband who started this. So, sister, uh, what are you doing sushi? You said you just started sushi Gee, now. Gee, we started how sushi you, How are you time. finding it? It's absolutely amazing. So whenever I started doing sushi, um, my husband introduced it to me. Right. And uh, I had sushi before that as well, but he introduced it to me. In a more in a more loving way, and I was like, all right. By that time, I already had studied uh, doing the art of sushi, so I started. And it is an art. Yes. I, but my fingers, I can't do normally work. <laughs> so first, we started doing sushi classes in our restaurant. We were teaching other individuals, mainly you know men. It started mm. off with men because they were very enthusiastic about oh. it. So I always told my class before we even started doing or making the sushi that sushi is not just making food it is an art yes it is a tradition right. it is a culture that you must love and respect right so once you have that love in your heart that passion for it it will eventually show in the sushi that you make fantastic so we're going to go through your ingredients i see yes. you have just very few ingredients beautiful but we'll go through it uh, very slowly so let's start Yes. So what do you need? The first thing we're going to be making today, we will be making one type of sushi. It's called our ocean roll. It is authentic to our restaurant. I have formulated this recipe. Wow. Ji. And, Congratulations. Um, I have formulated this recipe and it will be, we have very few ingredients, but it's something very different. So right. we have our sauce, that's our secret ingredient sauce. Right. It is our salmon and few other Oh, that's your seafood. Yes. That's salmon inside. The salmon seafood. and a few other seafood inside. This is our cream cheese. This is our ginger. So uh, it can be any cream cheese. It can be any cream cheese you desire. Right. And our ginger. My favorite. 
You like cream cheese? <laughs> I love, I love cream, cheese. I am, cream cheese. As well as the pink ginger. Yes. And it's very scarce at the moment. It's very scarce, but um, you can actually make your own. All right. Okay. And you don't need any preservatives or food coloring. You yes. just need to know how to make it in a certain way. All right. And it's very simple and easy. Can you show us The that next well? ingredient we have is our sesame seeds. Obviously, you'll need some cutlery. We have an avocado, our cucumber, and we have our rice. In this damp cloth. Now the reason I was going to ask you yes. why you've got it covered. Yes, okay. the reason why we have our rice covered in a damp cloth is because you want moisture to retain inside your rice. As soon as air or you leave your rice open into the open, it will become hard. Yes. And your rice will become hard and not you won't be able to ply it around and make it into your sushi. Okay. So it needs to stay moistened as well. Right. It needs to stay uh, nice and soft in a damp cloth. Okay, so that's yes. a nice clear muslin cloth. Yes. Great, fantastic. And these are the sources? That and you these are our sources. So we have our sriracha, we have our Chinese mayo, right. we have our soy sauce and our cream cheese bottled as well. Fantastic. Yes. Wow. This is and our nori sheet yes, yes. that we will be using half and our sushi bamboo mat. And excellent. So that's the skill that starts. So what you're going to do first? So the first thing we're going to be doing is making our ocean roll. And the main ingredient is our battered been, prawn tempura. I've been hiding it here for you, so... Okay, so the battered prawns. Yes, it's our battered prawn tempura. Our batter is our secret ingredient as well. Wow! Yes. Okay, that's interesting because you normally do a lot of raw fish. Yes. You, I'll have to taste the shit. So we have raw fish inside okay. and then we have our cooked fried prawns on top. Wonderful. Yes. And let's start. Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir. Wonderful. So the first thing I will need is my nori sheet. So there's two sides to my nori sheet. It's a smooth side and a rough side. The rough side will be facing me so the smooth side will be down. Wow, it's already in balls. Yes. Right? So I prepared my rice. The, prepare, the preparation of the rice is very extensive, so right. I can't go into detail with that. Right. But I can show you the technique that I'll be using to actually spread my rice evenly onto Fantastic. my nori sheet. So the technique I will be using is my fingertips. Mm. The best tool you can use to make sushi is your hand, mm. nothing else. Mm -hmm. So all you need is your fingertips. You place your rice in the center of your nori sheet, pressing down, going towards the side. Using your fingertips, you will never ever press down or smear it on the sheet because that will evidently break your rice. What you need to do is basically pinch the rice all over your nori sheet, covering your entire nori sheet. Mm -hmm. Some people call it a seaweed, but I like to call it the original name, which is your nori sheet. Nori sheet, yes. It's made of pure seaweed. Yes, it's made of pure seaweed. The nori sheet has a very fishy smell. It's very pungent, but it's not smelling like a bad smell. It has a very nice smell, which you can smell, and, and, it's, and it's very tasty if you eat it plain as right. well. Right, fantastic. So you have to just spread it around without... Uh, you have to push it around without uh, pressing it down. Yes, without okay. actually pressing down, you mm -hmm. have to use your fingertips just to pinch the rice and move mm -hmm. it everywhere. Wherever because you want if to. You press down, yeah. then it will break the rice. Then you basically will be having pop all over your, <laughs> your, your seaweed and you won't have sushi. <laughs> right, that's excellent. So what I'm doing is just pinching my rice all over. Right. I'm spreading it evenly so as to I don't break my rice. Right. The preparation is very simple. If you're using two cups of rice, you use two cups of water. Okay. Just like that. Simple. It's very simple. Until the water is drained out? Until the water is drained out, until you see steam arising from your pot. The most important step when making your rice is to never ever lift the lid off your pot. Okay. So the tip that I use when I started making my rice is to use a pot where you can see a lid through inside. Okay. But now I've become so good that I actually don't worry. I just use any lid I can. Love even if the I confidence. I don't even have to see inside the pot. I know exactly how long it cooks for. This only comes with practice. Fantastic. It only comes with practice. You will get as good as you go. The first time you won't be as, you know, as confident, but I urge you to always believe in yourself and always have confidence in yourself. Isn't she just such a neat worker? Look at how neat she is with her work. Fantastic. Got a cloth, cloth ready. <laughs> but a young girl, subhanAllah. 
My mama says, not just what you did, how you did. So, so now, now, now I put my rice at the bottom because I had to flip it over. Mm -hmm. The filling will go inside my nori sheet. Okay. That is the ocean roll. So the okay. first thing I will use is my cucumber. Right. So I will place my cucumber here. Mm -hmm. And whatever excess bits and pieces I have, just I just cut it off. I never ever cut straight onto my bamboo mm -hmm. mat because that will damage it. Okay. I also, if you notice that I have a clean wrap over my bamboo sheet, this yes. is to protect my bamboo so it doesn't get damaged. This I way. noticed that. There's a yes, clean, uh, a clean wrap. Packages. So you can put it in a Ziploc packet or you can cling wrap it. I like to put it in a cling wrap because it doesn't create air bubbles inside and I can, you know, mold it easily. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. So I have my cucumber here. And I don't like to prepare my avocado in advance because it blackens black, my avocado. Yeah. Mm. However, the tip that I have mm. to keep your avocado from going spoiled is I brush a little olive oil or oh. lemon juice over and it lasts a long time. Yeah, that's excellent, yes. So you, this I was wondering, you prepared it but didn't have, you know, get yes. dark at all. Yes, I didn't want to actually take it out. So I did prepare it. I brushed my olive oil on top. Mm. It doesn't alter the, chain, the taste of it at mm. all. Wow. We've got quite a few interesting spectators <laughs> want to watching what uh, Sister Fatima is doing here. So, creating a, quite a bit of interest here for us. <laughs> and then outside shoot. Beautiful to do an outside shoot. Gee, it's actually quite... Um, it's only when the trolley moves and you can hear the screeching of the trolley. Yes. <laughs> okay, in there again. So you're not putting a very thick slice? So I'm not putting a very thick slice because I don't want to be filled too much with avocado. Right. I just want my few ingredients inside. But it's my favorite. In, uh, I love fruit. avocado <laughs> basically on my pizza, on my burger. I love it everywhere. You must try it on toast. On toast? Yes. I actually have toast with avocado and a sunny side up egg on it oh. with chili flakes. Yeah, I've seen that. So I tasty. Yeah. Let's do this in the next program. Inshallah. So the next ingredient we'll be adding is our fish. Right. I just want to mix it up a little bit. And today's the uh, 12th of August. So I just want to say it's my husband's birthday. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Uh, you're going to be treating me at Marinado, so. <laughs> Open ways can take a shoot of him having this food at Marinado, inshallah. Inshallah. So now you're layering with your... Yes, now we're layering our fish on top of our filling that we've added, which is our cucumber and avocado. Right. That's the only ingredient we will need inside. And right. we have our secret ingredient sauce. Right. Which we have already added inside. So we don't want to overfill our, our sushi because it won't close very nicely. Yeah. So you will add the same amount that you've added of your cucumber and your avocado. All right. I think just after you put this, we're going to have to take a break because yes. then we'll show the rest of the uh, designer sushi after the break because um, it's it, a few things and then the rolling, the skill, etc. So do stay with us. We'll be back in a bit. Thank you. Thank you.